Hello, my friends. We're going to continue our discussion on linear regression by exploring multiple linear regression. And this video is just simply an introduction to the concept in which I will try to represent it visually that you might understand what multiple linear regression is all about. As we uh, start this thing out, we just finished simple linear regression. And simple linear regression is about modeling a data set with one independent variable to model one dependent variable. Multiple linear regression is about modeling a data set with more than one independent variable to model one dependent variable. In, in other words, we might examine five independent variables and use them to model the results of one dependent variable. Multiple linear regression, of course, is founded in correlational analysis just as simple linear regression was founded in correlational analysis. Now, what is multiple linear regression, you ask, may ask yourself. Now, we'll start out here and we will look at one dependent variable that we may want to model. And if we want to model that de dependent variable, we may identify several independent variables. In this video picture, we have identified three distinct independent variables and we want to use them to model dependent, uh, dependent variable. Now what happens in, in multiple linear regression is that multiple linear regression will begin to examine each of these three independent variables to determine which one has the most impact on the, uh, the variance of the dependent variable. Now don't let the word variance scare you because I will come back to that again. All statistics is about mean and about variance. So that's very important. So multiple linear regression will look for the independent variable that is having the most impact first. And of course, you know, the goal is that it will examine all three of those and, and it will look at how much variance in the dependent variable the each independent variable explains. Now it will identify then the one that explains the most variance. Once it identifies the independent variable that is explaining the most variance in the dependent variable, then it will more or less freeze that independent variable to examine the other two independent variables and identify that independent variable which explains the next most variance in the dependent variable. And of course, this process goes on and on and on. Once a variable is identified as having impact on the dependent variable, it is frozen, and then the other variables are examined to determine in a priority order which one explains the most, which one explains the next, which one explains the next. If one of those independent variables explains 50%, then the next one may explain 25%, and, and the next one may explain 10%. So between those three independent variables, they thus explain 85% of the variance in the dependent variable. Uh, the goal is to explain as much of the variance via the independent variables as is meaningful. Now, now notice the word meaningful. To explain 100% of the variance, you have to explain everything. And, and that's just not possible. It's never possible to explain 100%. But how much is meaningful? What if you found a good 75% fit model? Multiple linear regression is about replication and the identification of the most important uh, uh, independent variables. Now I put dependent there, I apologize, it's independent variables. Which one is the most important in impacting the dependent variable? Once you identify one, you freeze it and then you examine the others. Uh, many researchers criticize multiple linear regression because replication also replicates error. But, but friends, I will tell you this, that anything that is replicated replicates error. And, and a lot of, I hate to quote the great statistician George Box, who said all methodologies are wrong. He was correct, but he did add that some are, however, useful. There is no perfect methodology. Multiple linear regression is by no means perfect, but it may prove useful. All linear regression is contingent upon the lower and the upper bounds. Your, your regression is between your lowest x values and your highest x values. And outside those parameters, it really doesn't have much meaning. Again, I want to thank you very much for your support. We'll keep working on this material. We're going to master multiple linear regression. 
Just want you to know what it is. And uh, I've been kind of beat up for saying live long and prosper. And my daughter told me I needed to come into the new age. So we'll do this. May the odds be ever in your favor. This is Dog signing off.